sing. I believe, praise God, we ought to have church. Don't you know the Spirit came down and welcomed us into the house of God this morning? Do you feel welcome in the house of God this morning? Do you feel welcome in the house of God this morning? I believe God comes down to welcome us. He got something special today, I believe, that with all my heart say, I don't believe it, but I don't care what you believe. I believe God's got something special for everybody here. You tell me God don't know what you need. You know what the Word of God said? The Bible said, I know what you have need of before you even ask. Oh, there, praise God in the land whenever. Amen. Praise God. The children of Israel was over there in the wilderness wandering around. Praise God. Amen. And the Bible said every day God sent down the man out of heaven. Amen. The Bible said it was small as a whore frost, but it was sweet as a honeycomb. Amen. The Bible said He sent it down that morning to every child of God. Amen. It ain't for just one. Amen. But it's for one and all. Can I get an amen? Now I'm going to let them sing, but we're going to have church. But I want you to know something, Greg. Amen. The Bible said He sent it down. But every man out of every house had to go out and get it. Amen. They had to gather. The Bible said for every need. If I need to that house was small, they just got but if that need was great, and God bless them abundantly, they may have prayed down to God. But the Bible said they had to get it before the song came out. For when the song came out, it found it away. Don't you know that God knew what you needed before you?
Praise God. 
I think Lord will turn around and say, well, ain't we going to have Sunday school? Who cares? Amen. Say, preacher, don't you care about Sunday school? I don't care about God touching you. Amen. Sunday school, we'll have Sunday school later. Why don't you want to have Sunday school? Right now, God's moving. You need to get your mind off everything that's going on around you, everything that's went on in the last few days, and you need to focus on God this morning. Because if you don't, you're going to miss something that God's got for you this morning. Amen. <laughs> My God, I'm too. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw the hearse come rolling for to carry my mother away. Well, a circle. Let's pray. Um, teacher Maggie has been with him for 10 years. She's had to quit her job, but she's no longer there with him, and she was also a sign language interpreter. <laughs> and um, so now he doesn't have anyone to help him to learn. We've been learning new things, and, and I'm afraid that they're going to try to not give him that through the school system. And I really want y'all to help me pray. Because now he has... Unless, you know, the Lord intervenes, and I know that He will, and I have faith that He will. I just want you to pray that He'll put Maggie back in, into His life in that, in that capacity so that she can help Him because she's the only one here in the county and around who can, who has that ability, and I know that God put her in His life for that reason. I want you to help me pray. Did you hear that? Did you hear that, church? Did you hear? Bless her, old man. She's asking us to come around and pray. I'm going to ask you, do you believe? Do you believe? I believe if God can't bring this woman back into this boy's life, praise God, I believe. That praise God, God's going to send somebody with the same talent that's going to love him. Yeah, bless her. Oh, God, God. 
Praise God right now in the name of Jesus. Church, do you believe? Now, if you don't believe, I want you to sit down. Hey, man, I'm telling you like it is. If you, hey, let me just go a little farther. If you've got sin in your life, then you ain't living where you are to be. Sit down, amen. Don't you try to pray for this child. If you've got something in your life, it's going to hinder you. Can I get an amen? Praise God, I want you to know that. Yeah, amen. Bless him, Lord. You're in tune with God, we're going to pray. Amen. amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, as we come as a group of God's fearing people, we come asking you on the behalf of this child, Lord, that God should send somebody in his life. And God, he wouldn't be left out. And God, he wouldn't be overlooked. Oh, my God, the child. Send the Lord. God. In your name, Lord God, we ask that this be Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you. I believe it's done. Amen. Amen. I believe it's done this morning. Bless the Lord. Amen. Ain't you glad you don't have to worry when God moves? Thank you. We need no. I believe we'll turn loose and have church. Since I've heard about a baby home, I would leave this old world and all its own. Just
Spirit of God. <coughs> I'm here to tell you, praise God, this ain't a game. It ain't just another soul. Uh, this is something coming from God. Hey, you're feeling God had you here this morning, sister, because He had You know what I believe, Keith? I believe He had a place set at the table and your name is on the place, man. Amen? Everybody leave from God's table this morning. Praise God. Amen? Praise God. Got something from God. Amen? I'm here. That's the way it works. God said it. I believe it. I'll give you something to sustain you just another way. Amen? Amen? church. I, I don't know about everybody else. Say so it can't get no better. He can. He can for you. When God touches your life and delivers you, it's better for you. Let me ask you something this morning before this thing. Is there something tormenting you in your mind? Is there something you're struggling with? Is there something bothering you? Every time God moves, His disciples Come. Come he would be persecuted. He the Lord.
church today. He can join the church and then we can schedule his baptism. Now this morning, praise God, if you're saved by the grace of God, amen, and you're looking for a place, amen, to settle in and to work for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The first, they made qualifications. You've got to be saved. Amen. And the next thing, you need to be a living for God. Come on. But we receive members by baptism. We receive members by letter or by recommendation. As the world looks upon me, as I struggle.
Oh, for recommendation. Your recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> and three to be baptized. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? I right, praise God. We're going to we're do things a little different today, okay? Now, we're going to fellowship with these gentlemen, but we're not going to leave. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that before you get up and move. Hey, man, don't run out because we ain't done. We won't be done when God gets done. So fellowship and sit back down. Okay? We're going to let them sing. Or, hey man, in the grace of life, y'all are standing here. We're going to fellowship. But we're going to shake hands with them and welcome them into our church. Hey man, when we get their letter, we give them a full fellowship of all the rights of any other brother and sister. When we baptize them, we give them a right hand of fellowship. All rights of any brother and sister. And, and uh, uh, we can go ahead and recommend you if you want to. <laughs> Amen. I, uh, this sister joined by recommendation. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm going to recommend recommend her Amen. to be in good standing with the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, yes. And we're going to give her the right hand of welcome and fellowship all at the same time. Amen. 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 Praise God. That's Amen. I recommend her to sing. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Get you another song, praise God. Let's fellowship, say that's a whole lot of moving. It ain't too much. Amen. I wonder so aimless I feel with sin I wouldn't live my dear Savior in when Jesus came like a stranger in the night. Pray Oh, no. 
Thank you, Jesus. And I found love in there. Hey. You may find me in a valley on my journey. But I know that my God grows with his When I'm weak, he is strong. His hand is where. God, you got you another song. Hi. Jerry, you feel like teaching Sunday school. I don't know about everybody else, but I feel like I've had church. And I've told it and told it and told it. Praise God. If you don't get it when God sets it out for you, you're going to miss it. So if you missed it this morning, praise God, you missed a whole lot. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, you just don't let me forget. We'll take up the offer before we leave. I get excited. I forget about the money. Hey man, but it takes money to run the church and pay the bills. And you pray just a few minutes. I got. I prayed all night long last night. Now I don't know if I'm going. I, I don't know what God wants, but I, I don't feel like I'm going to preach. I, I just need to read you some scripture. <laughs> Now, I, I don't know how everybody feels about everything else, but I do know what God tells me. God has never lied to me. He's never deceived me. He's never led me down the wrong road. Every, every road that I ever went down that was a roadblock or tore up, I went on my own. Amen? You see, God's highway is paved with grace. Amen? Now, I... Oh... Highway of Holiness, the King's Highway. But I thought about some things this morning, and, and uh, I always, I, I, I don't know about you, but you know, most people wait till they come to church to worship. They never pray all week long till they get to church, and then they want to pray. When they go back home on Monday morning, praise God, they let the devil have his way in their life one more time, and it's the same old mess. Hey Amen. It's time to come out and be an overcomer. The Bible said we can be more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. That strengthens us. But I prayed all night long, Cole. I have. Hey Amen. I felt your pain. I, I just, I, I, I felt people's pain all night long, and and I got up this morning. Now, I don't know about you, but praise God, I don't wait to come to church to start worshiping God. I get up early. Me and Melinda, we always get up early. This morning we, we slept in until about 6 o'clock this morning. Amen? Usually we're up at 4, 30, 5 o'clock every morning, praise God. Every morning. Sunday morning too. Amen? 
And I get up early and I go out to feed and I get down to the barn and I pray a lot. And old horses, I can hear them chewing. It's just like somebody singing a hymn in my ears. Amen. When they begin to chew that old corn, I can't help it. <laughs> Melinda said this morning, I, and I'm going I'm to tell you what's on my mind here in just a minute. Melinda said this morning, said your stallions are throwing a fit there in the barn. Said you better get going. I said, I'm going to drink me a cup of coffee. He's been there all night long. He'll be all right. I said, probably left the gate open. One of them mares is out in the barn. That's all he's looking at. He got there and one of the colts has got out. The biggest colt. She's standing there with her daddy just standing there eating hay, man. Him just a nickering through the bars. Everything is fine. But I began to worship God when I got out of the bed this morning. Yeah. And I opened, amen, I, I always get on, amen, and, and start listening to gospel music. And I don't want to listen to just any gospel music. I pray and God says, here it is, you, 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 you put this in, you listen to this this morning. And amen, just as I turned it on, amen, there was scripture went to running through my mind. And this fellow started singing about the scripture that was on my mind. Amen. And praise God, I thought, now I'm going to go to church. I'm going to preach. Hammer down on this, amen. And praise God, I didn't have to. You know why? Because God met me here. He was here before I ever got here. He done delivered you, but I'm going to read this scripture to you. And I'm going to quit. I'm going home. You see, I've got revival to preach in Butler, Tennessee tonight at Pierce Town Baptist Church. And I pray it's better there than it is here. Can I get an amen? I pray to God that God would preach me harder and better than anything He's ever done, sister. I pray to God that God let me be a soul winner this week. And He'd bring a loss down that valley. And praise God, people get saved. Amen. I, Lord have mercy. Songs that I hadn't heard in 15 years started coming to my mind this morning. I mean, it just all over the place. I look around this world and this world is full of corruption and destruction and sin and deception, amen. People, amen, in this world, praise God, so selfish and self-centered that they can't see past their own nose. Amen. They don't think about who they hurt or what they do. Amen. Come on. They don't think about the consequences. You know what the Bible said? The Bible said that if a man's going to build a house for him to sit down and count the cost first, that praise God he would have, amen, enough to build it before he ever started. Come on. Because if you know, people's going to make fun of it. You see, my life don't just affect me and my wife. It affects my two girls. It affects those that come into my life. It affects this church. It affects everybody in the county and all over North, all over the United States that I know. It affects everybody. Amen? Amen. Praise God. This scripture come to my mind as they started to sing this morning. I want to read it to you and then we'll get us a song and we'll fellowship. We'll do whatever we need to do. We'll take up a love offering. And, and uh, I, I ain't too good at the business part of the church. I, I, I'm just a preacher. People ask me what's going on here. I say all I know is I preach there. I, I don't know nothing. <laughs> Amen? Bless you. They'll say, well, ain't, ain't such and such a going on with us. And praise God, I don't know. I just preach there. <laughs> Hey man, if somebody don't tell me, I, I get excited. I can't help it, okay? You pray just a few minutes. If you will, turn with me to Mark chapter 4. And I want to read this to you, but God's done blessed you. Those that want it. Down about the 35th verse, I want to read to you something. I thought about some things this week. I thought about a lot of things. I thought about the spirits that's in this world, and the Bible said to try the spirits to see if they be of God. And I, I've tried to teach this church and lead you in the right way, and I've tried to teach you how to try the spirits and 
Amen. To tell you which spirits was right and which ones are not. And I can go back to the Word of God and tell you which is right and which is not. Amen. Anything that's not according to this book is wrong. The Bible said over there in one place, and I'm going to read this in just a minute. You just hold on to your place. He said over there in one place, they went into Canaan land to spy out the country God made for them. According to the Word of God, they was 12 spies went into that country. Now there's two men of God that had the right spirit. They went down to the brook and sat down and began to eat the fruits of that country. And when they tasted of the fruits of the country God had prepared, they filled their pockets full. And you know what they done? They come back and they give it to the children of God. They fed them something that came from the other side. Are you hearing? There's nothing in this world that will nourish you or keep you going or give you life except it comes from the other side. And it takes people that know the Spirit of God, amen, to feed you. Now listen to what I'm fixing to say. Joshua and Caleb, they come out of Canaan land and the Bible said that they had a pot of grapes that they had to cut out a cluster of grapes that was so big that it took two men to carry it. They had their pockets full of pomegranates. They had up the fruits from the far side, amen. Come on. The Bible said, amen, that you'll have our fruits in some 100, some 60, some 30, but they all had fruit of righteousness. Can I get an amen? amen. I can preach on the fruit. But the Bible said when they got back, I want you to listen and, and, and you, you tell me before you stand with God. When they got back, the ten men had went in and they didn't go in too far, see them. They went in far enough Jeff to see the giants and then they come back and complain. They didn't see the goodness that God had. They saw, amen, the giants and they come back and told the people of God, said, we can't uh, take this land that's full of giants and where's grasshoppers in their sight. So by, by the time it, the men of God that had the right spirit got there, they'd already wanted to turn back on God. Now the Bible said, and I'm going to read this, and you, just, you better listen to what I've got to say. God's touched this morning. The Bible said, amen, that Joshua and Caleb come back and said, God said, it's ours, let's go in and possess it. It's ours, let's go get what God said it's ours. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how it looks, how they act. Praise God, this is our land. God promised it to us. And praise God, let's get up and go get it. Now you can sit back and let the devil lie to you and show you giants and why you can't do it, why you can't do no better, why you can't have it. But praise God, the devil's a liar. When God said it's your able God, I'm here to tell you God said to get up and go get it and let's possess what God said for us. And the Bible said it. In myself I can do nothing but through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. All things can be done. I don't have to say it. This is what God said. God said those evil men that brought back an evil report and caused His people to turn back. He destroyed them with the plagues of the moon. Read the Word of God. There's a penalty on causing people to turn back. You better think about that. Now I've got to read this. I fit the demons of hell all night long. Amen. I'd wake up in my bed and I'd be a praying. I'd go back to sleep, I'd wake up and I'd be a praying. This is what God said. Child of God, you've not been forsaken this morning. The Bible said in the 35th verse, 4th chapter of the book of Mark, uh, Mark, and I want to read this. The Bible said, The same day when the evening was come, He saith unto them, Let us pass over to the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was as in a ship in the ship, and there was also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, and so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and saith unto him, Master, carest thou that not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Amen. 
Praise God, I'm going to stop right there. Jesus did not send me and you toward heaven by ourselves. He said in His Word, He said, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you, and I will go with you to the ends of this world. Amen. Jesus went down into the ship and went asleep. And you know why? Because the cares of this world, amen, don't affect the power of my Savior. Amen. Well, they don't trouble Him like they trouble me and you. You see, He knows what the anger is before it ever happens. Can I get an amen? Amen. But it wasn't long after they went to Salem, the storms came, Joe. The Bible said it beat violently upon the ship, upon this ship. These are the other little ships. Started sailing with us. Right there's a little ship that started sailing with us. In God's harbor. Woo! The captain. Amen. God saved him, put a sail on him, and sailed out in the sea. Amen. And God's got the answer. But every once in a while, amen, the world comes up against us. And the things of life and the demons of hell and the darkness of sin. And it beats around us violently. And they man that the Bible said that the ship was now full. He never gets the weight that you couldn't hold your head up. I have. And I don't know why, Gary, it has to be that way. I don't know why that people have to be beaten down, lose everything they've got before they'll ever call out to God. Amen? I don't know why. I don't know why they want to lose everything they got before they start coming to church. I don't know why they want to give up everything that's important to them before they ever get excited about God. I don't understand that. Sometimes it's like that. But in this scripture, the Bible said the disciples woke him up. And all Jesus had to do, the troubles of life, the ship was full. He just stepped out on the ship. And spoke three words. Peace be still. Amen. And the Bible said, and there was a great calm. <coughs> Amen. A great calm. If you've ever felt the peace of God, the Bible said Jesus told him, He said, My peace I've given to thee, not like the world can give. You know what I feel right now after the meeting we've had this morning? Peace. Amen. Amen. Peace. When I come into this church, I was a fighting turmoil left and right. I could feel it. It's just like a demons of hell jumped on my head when I was coming up the steps. Amen. But praise God, when the Spirit of God began to move, amen, there was a calm came in this place and people began to listen. You got to get an amen. Drawn by the Spirit of God. You see, I've been sailing, Gary. And you know, whenever I catch a bunch of, I don't know, I'm, I, Lord, I'm on, I'm gonna hurry up. I've got to get this. We'll take us off and we'll cut a ship and go home. But another place in the Word of God, God spoke of the little ships. That's two places God spoke of little ships. One place in the Word of God, the Bible said that they told all night, and hadn't caught a thing. Jesus came walking on the water. And He told them, He said, have you caught enough anything? And they said, we've told all night. He caught nothing. He said, cast your nets on the right side. Amen. They was about to give up, wasn't they? They started of it. Hadn't caught a thing. And the Lord told them, to cast your nets on the right side. And the Bible said that they drew in a multitude of people. It was such a great multitude that it began to break the nets that they had cast out. And you know what they done? They called in the other little ship to help them get them ashore. Hey Amen? It's me and you carrying one another's load trying to get us home. Praise God. We'll make it. I'm fishing for me. Okay? And when I catch them, I'd like for you to help me reel me in. But come on. You ever caught any fish? We used to fish all the time, me and the young ones. Kayla scared to death of them. She didn't, she didn't like them. Them eyes come up out of the water, she used to drop a pole and run. <laughs> when they couldn't handle me, they'd holler, help me, Daddy. 
Hey man, help me get it. Grab an egg. Help somebody get them a show. You see, I'm here to help you this morning. I'm not here to harm you. I'm here to pray for you. And I don't know. I, this old song, I, I I told Kelsey to write this down for me before we left home, and I, I don't know if I can get it or not. But I'm on I'm gonna do my best to try to sing this old song. I ain't heard this thing in I don't know, a long, long time ago. Melinda said you sing it and I said, I don't remember it. I don't remember. There's been a lot of things that down through time. I've been this pure preaching for twenty some years. A lot of things I forgot, but there's a lot of things I do remember. I want you to listen to the words of this song. Don't listen to the way I sing it. If you need to pray this morning, praise God, don't you go home without touching God. Amen. Maybe your ship's full and you're struggling. Amen. There's hope this morning. I don't know if I can get through this or not, so you you better pray. The Lord spoke unto Noah and told him to build an ark. The Lord knew well the vessel would cheerless be and dark. So God said, build a window without toward the sky and through the upper window you'll see me standing by the storms may rage but fear not for Noah I am not and through the upper window You'll see me standing by. It may be that affliction with rick and rack your frame until your mortal body is filled with fever pain. But sweetness, peace, and comfort will lift your pain filled sight when through the upper window you'll see me standing by perhaps you'll suffer losses like houses land and gold and you may feel that you are a long penniless and hold but do not feel discouraged just lift your tear dimmed eyes and through the upper window you'll see me standing by the storms may rage but fear not for Noah I am nigh, and through the upper window you'll see me standing by. Amen. We're going to get us a song, and and uh, we're going to take us up, take up the offer. Uh, I'm about to forget all this. You got any announcements? We got any announcements? You want to read it? What time is it? 7 o'clock. Yep. And uh, Wednesday night service will uh, be at Pierce Town Baptist Church. Is that your? Yeah. Let me let Mitchell read it. I can't see too good this morning. <coughs> Speak loud, brother. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Ecclesiastes 4.9. Uh, it's a wedding for uh, Kayla and Greg. Uh, directions says signs will be placed at Warrensville to the seminary. Uh, the ceremony will be held. <laughs> uh, the, uh, 
four o'clock at White Oak, the uh, reception will be held. It's uh, 2529 Tucker Road. These the invitations laying right here. There'll be signs from Lawrenceville to the ceremony. And the ceremony starts at four and then we'll eat it wide. Brian's Right here it is. You need to get it. Bill, because we have birthday day. Uh, anybody else had a birthday? <laughs> Anniversary? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, God bless you. Happy anniversary to you. If anybody can't go with David too tonight, we're singing a fine road. And if everybody didn't hear that, if, if you can't go with me over to uh, Pierce Town, Sister Louise and Buck's going to be a singing Tuesday night over at Pine Grove. Amen. So if you can't go with me, go and help in. Um, also, also um, the special Olympics are going on at the high school um, on the 10th. And it starts at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's a real blessing. If you get the chance to come watch. Yes, it is. And, and if, if, if it were to rain, there ain't dates for the 12th. But if you get a chance, come watch. Amen. Yes, that's the one we want you to go over again. Anywhere you're going to meet. I can meet you. You all are going to pull it. I'm going to 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 uh, if anybody wants to go to Revival, we're going to run the band this evening. We'll meet in Warrensville at 6 o'clock. If anybody wants to go, we're right there at the whistle stop.
before we uh, uh, dismiss, we're going to... Uh, Sister Sheila said Matthew is ready to get baptized. So, uh, he wanted to be baptized next week or week after, and the week after I'm going to be gone, so I'll be out of town and preaching. So, uh, if it's all right with everybody else, we're going to baptize after church next Sunday. I know it's Mother's Day, but there's no greater uh, present for a mother than to see her child baptized. Amen. 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 So, uh, if the rest of you youngins want to be baptized right after church next Sunday, Amen. Is that all right? Is that all right with everybody? I don't want to leave nobody out. And if there's anybody else who wants to join the church, we'll open the door to Creek next Sunday after church, and and uh, we'll just plan on. On baptizing them, amen. I, I like them when they're excited about getting in the water, amen. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody that's going to church. And I, I appreciate everything that God has done this morning, amen. amen. I'm glad I got to witness what God's doing this morning, amen. But you pray for us tonight as we start revival at 7 o'clock. They're going to run the van at 6 o'clock at Warrensville. And uh, I'll meet you up on the river. And me and Keith will meet you up on the river. He's going whether he wants to or not. But uh, uh, we'll meet you up on the river at Darrell Gregel's church this evening and uh, probably about 6.30 or something. It won't take too long to get over with Keith. They'll wait on us if we ain't there on time. So uh, you want to go? We'll go over there and you pray for one another. Just thank Him and praise Him for what went on here today. If you will get you a song, we're going to fellowship and you'll be at liberty to go. Thank you.